Just another quick video, uh, buzz bars. I don't know whether many people um, have to put junction boxes and stuff like that. I'm just making a buzz bar. It's out of 50 by 10 uh, aluminium anodized. I'm going to drill and tap 8 mil holes in this and then uh, virtually cut it so I can actually cut it uh, each one. So I've got actually 8 uh, little plates. I'll actually have 8 mil tapped holes then I'll countersink a couple of more holes uh, to uh, to mount it, so I'll just keep you updated as I uh, progress to this little uh, machining job, all drilled and tapped. Right, uh, I've just drilled the hole, and what I've done is I've lined the drill up a little bit above it, so I can actually use it to uh, sight the top of the tap to the actual hole that I've just drilled. That way, it makes it all nice and square and plumb for the tap. There, yeah, just a, a bit of a hint. Righto, I've just finished uh, tapping all those holes, all uh, 16, 8 mil, and uh, I've put a bit of lubricant on it. Uh, I'm just using a little bit of uh, Treflex because aluminium is very soft and nothing worse than picking up soft stuff on the um, drill bit or the tap and binding it all up. Now um, I'll clean that up a little bit more and then I'll do another set of holes to, uh, to mount them. will be the next stage. Righto, now that I've done that stage, I've drilled and tapped all holes, and what I've done is I've drilled enough for a countersunk screw to actually fit through the hole. It's about a 5mm hole and about, oh, I think it's about 11mm um, countersunk on it, and uh, that'll be right uh, for actually cutting up into uh, sections to make a buzz bar out of. Right, uh, I've done making my buzz bars. That's pretty much what they uh, they look like, and uh, that way I can mount them so forth in the box, whichever side I want, this side or uh, or the other side, or even mount them on the actual uh, floor. So I've got more than enough, and uh, a cheap alternative uh, if you're looking at a um, a termination point.